Hi everyone, Friday here. Welcome back to my SnowRunner hard mode playthrough. This is episode 35. And today we are going to work on the Super Order contract. Which is, by the way, the final contract of this map. So that's exciting. First off, we're gonna deliver the materials to the logistics base here on Smithville Dam, uh, on the Smithville Dam map. I already have preloaded a couple of items. And now, we're just gonna make our way through the farm and pick up some more cons uh, 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 pallet of consumables and off to the logistics base we go. Now with this particular contract, the first two deliveries you have to do them in a certain order. The remaining two, you can do them as you see fit. But we'll see how it goes, what's more convenient. And uh, let us see if I can get this done in one episode without any issues. So, through our little shortcut here, well not really a shortcut, just an easier way, I think so anyway, Yeah, super excited. This is the absolute last thing we have to do in Michigan. And boy, what an adventure it has been. Michigan, as I probably mentioned once or twice, is definitely not the easiest map. It's the first, but not necessarily the easiest. I don't think so anyway. All right, cargo management, consumables, we need that on the loading platform. Grab that. And we're just going to overload it. All right, I'm going to set this down. And let's go to the logistics base. So I'm recording this after the update, obviously. You guys have seen my insanity episode. If you haven't, check it out. It's insane. It is the episode that is titled certified what is it i forgot my own title wait am i even going the right way no i'm not oh yeah wow certified madness that's what it's called it is absolutely nuts what i have done there I mean, it will be, if you haven't seen it, it will become clear after I make this delivery what I actually have done, but uh, yeah, check it out. Anyway, it's, I got to visit the new Scandinavian map, so I wonder, since this is after the update and there have been collision models updated, is it just done automatically, or do I have to do something special to this? KW, do I have to, I mean, I put it in the garage, I erased, I don't know if it uh, just automatically makes that update, or do I have to sell the truck and buy it again, not quite sure. So if anyone knows, do let me know in the comment, and no, this is not just some, I honestly don't know, so if you know, let me know, please, because I'm really interesting
It is too funny. I am driving in a season 10 truck on the first map and I don't even have the advanced special gearbox yet because I haven't retrieved it. <laughs> but hey, I got him fair and square. No mods, no cheats, no nothing. I just went over there to British Columbia. If you haven't checked that video out, by all means, please do. And normally I don't like to do this in the beginning of the episode because I get kind of annoyed myself when people t say subscribe, like, share, blah, blah, blah at the beginning of the video. I usually do it at the end. But statistically, not a, lot, not a whole lot of people last all the way to the end. So you might not even uh, see that. So... Uh, the reason why is because, you know, well, you ask me to subscribe and like your video in the beginning of the video. Well, what if your video sucks? Then I would have give you a thumbs up and not really liked your video. A anyway, whatever, I'm just rambling. So, yeah, um, this time around, yeah, I am going to. I'm almost at 100 subscribers. How cool is that? I'm at 95. That is absolutely awesome. That means actually somebody likes what I'm doing. And I really, really appreciate you guys. I've probably said this a bunch of times already, but um, yeah. I'm not getting sentimental or anything like that, but uh, I appreciate every single last one of you. I really do. Thank you uh, for all your comments and subscriptions and all those fun things it means the world to me hey now come on KW stability the core to success in this game alright here we go Enough me rambling. Here we are at the logistics base. To restore back. And that stage is complete. So now we're going to stop the engine. Now we need to go to Island Lake, and there's no ifs, buts about it. We just have to do it this way. So, hello. That is what I was referring to when I said the previous episode. <laughs> Certified madness. Check it out. It's pretty cool. I like it anyway. So, yeah. We're going to stop by the old fuel station. Pick up a lot of fuel barrels. And on to Island Lake we shall go. Obviously, for apparent reasons, we are going to manually load them. The fact that this thing has the crane in the back is awesome. I wish we could do that to every truck. Alright, here we go. make it nice and neat for 
for the most part anyway. Pinch that down. Oh, okay, I don't have to do anything here. Let's get out of here. Slow the fingers down a bit. Wow. You got stopped dead in your tracks. That's a first. Maybe this truck got an update as well. Some of the other gearboxes might be doing a little better job. Well, that's a bit unusual for this truck. Usually it just goes. Did you guys tweak this thing? Because it was too good. Yeah, don't mind my rhetorical questions. Yeah, I did notice that uh, in this exact setup, when I was using it, oh, a bunch of episodes ago, it seemed a lot faster. Maybe I'm just imagining things, but yeah, it seems like it. I could be wrong, but yes, everybody's favorite bit. Got the top engine in here, or do I? Yeah, I do. I'll double check when I get back to the garage. We'll see how that goes. Oops, wrong button. Yeah, it was just me. Nope, not having any of that. Yeah, it's pretty quick. It was just me. Disregard last. things down a bit. Not exactly sure why. I guess habit. Wow, it's stopping. That's weird. I have to double check this whole engine situation. Sometimes, as you guys know, they kind of like to make things sneaky and the, the engine that's at the bottom of the list is not necessarily the strongest one. But I don't think that's the case here, but I will double check as soon as we get an opportunity to swing by the garage.
the log station. Oh, I don't. Okay. So that's uh, on top of the map there, somewhere in the middle, I believe, if I remember correctly. Island, like we go. Now, that's where we need to be. So we're just gonna go up this way. Up this way. Through here. Does that make sense? That's as good of a way as any other. Okay, yeah. That wasn't even cool. But that was all me. <laughs> Let's see if we, if I can for once avoid that frame in the road. Meaning if I can avoid hitting it. <laughs> oh. Alright. 
see it. Absolute powerhouse, monstrosity of a vehicle. I mean, in, in the real world, it was designed for this kind of thing, so I'd be surprised if it wasn't all this good in the mud. It's kind of a paradox, isn't it? It's not fast, but at the same time, it's fast, if you know what I mean, because it just plows through the deep mud like nobody's business. All right, here we go. And restore crane, pack this, and stage complete. So, Black River, vehicle spare parts, fuel, and Drummond Island metal beams and concrete slab. And let me guess, there is none of those things here. Nope. Metal beam and concrete slab. All right, well, I am going to go back to Smithville Dam. And once I am nice and ready, I shall meet you guys there. Okay, and I am back. I did all the legwork off camera by loading the items needed to complete the Super Over contract for the two remaining re uh, maps, which is here in Roman Island and Black River. We're going to start with drum an island since the last two it doesn't matter which order you load them in also i just kind of decided to do this one first so off to the port we go yeah i'm super excited almost done and actually this last bit of this episode i am recording it on thursday the 26th of october the first half i recorded it actually uh, last thursday but today today is a special day because i hit i got a hundred subs on my channel that is really really exciting made it to the triple digits thank you all new subscribers thank you everyone uh, this is awesome absolutely awesome i'm super excited i'm glad you guys enjoy this content and yeah we're going to be taking off to uh, alaska next i might actually do another little special expedition to a different region to recover a truck 
but I haven't decided yet. I was thinking about retrieving the Mac Defense since the last Season 11 update. It was pretty much fixed and then some. So my thinking is, well, before the devs change their minds and they patch everything, I need to get my hands on one of those. So that might be a thing where I go to British Columbia and retrieve the Mac Defense. I'm super excited about that. I can't wait to use it in its new form. Um, it'll give us a little variety of vehicles. And uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, Again, I haven't decided if I'm going to do it or not. Depends on how progress is moving. Uh, there are plenty of trucks in Alaska that I'm going to pick up that we're going to use as repair trucks, fuel trucks, and let's not forget to mention that uh, yeah, I can't wait to start my dairy longhorn collection very longhorn trucks are definitely on top of my favorites list so can't wait to get my hands on those either all right here we go I'm almost at the port trailer with metal beams on here to begin with. Completely forgot about that. Completely. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I dragged all these materials here for nothing, huh? Yeah, short-term memory problems. One metal beam. Okay, stage complete. Yeah, I completely forgot about this trailer. Yeah, I'm going to take it over there so I don't have to drag the materials here later. Okay, yeah, go Friday. Alright, we're going to shut this guy down here for a minute. And right, we're going to go to our global map. And I kind of thought to myself that for this very last delivery on this very last contract in this region, we're going to do something a little different, so... I brought my newly acquired Burlak 6x6 and hooked up a Scout off-road trailer. And let's go make us a delivery. The old house, which one is that? Okay, that's that one, okay. So essentially now the circle is complete. It's ending right where it all started. Black River, Michigan. This thing is so cool. It's not fast. I haven't gotten the high range gearbox for it or anything. But even with the stock, I uh, this is a gearbox. I think that's just an off-road gearbox based on how many gears it has and everything. So it does pretty cool. I like it. Pretty cool for an ice cream truck. I repainted it. I kind of like this... Uh, color scheme
steering is definitely a little touchy, but with big wheels like that, uh, I'm not surprised. We'll definitely put the no chains ice tires to the test, won't we? That'll be pretty cool, if that is true. Alaska is the perfect place for this vehicle then. All right. Yeah, it could use a little bit more power. Just a notch. Uh, right now it's at B+. Plus. If they just made it A, just one notch, that's it. I think that would be perfect. I still haven't found anything on the tire ratings for these tires that this thing has. Um, definitely interested in finding out what the ratings on these are. Almost there. Okay, historical moment once again. Boom. Super order contract complete. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, oops, let me shut down this engine first. And let's take a look. Contracts. Done. Tasks. Done. There's our fleet. It says I have one of these. I don't know where it is. I never bought one. I don't know where this came from, but contests are done. Michigan, 100%. So, ladies and gentlemen, Thank you so very much for watching this video and all the previous videos. This was the very last grand finale of Michigan. And hopefully I don't have to come back here for anything other than fuel. So if you like this content, please subscribe by all means. Shoot me a comment. I'll definitely respond. And until next time, thank you so much and catch you later.